हेलो फ्रेंड्स स्क्वायरिंग डेसिमल नंबर्स कैन बी रियली ट्रिकी स्पेशली व्हेन द डेसिमल्स इन्वॉल्व आर लिटिल बिट लार्जर यू कैन सी सम नंबर्स रिटर्न ऑन द बोर्ड हियर 8.5 स्क्वायर ऑल दीज नंबर्स आर डिफिकल्ट वंस टू हैंडल How do you square these numbers? Vedic mathematics has answer to everything. Every number is ending with five here, so that is the common characteristic of all these numbers. And we can utilize the very amazing short trick of squaring numbers ending with five using the Vedic maths approach. So let's see what's the trick behind this. You all know. how to put the decimal when a particular product is obtained if you are aware of vertical and crosswise method of multiplication then this is going to be really easy but in case of a single digit apart from the 5 like here you have 8 apart from 5 here you have 27 apart from 5 here you have 41 apart from 5 likewise 313 apart from 5 and so on so single digit apart from 5 is very easy that single digit multiplied by its consecutive number 9 gives us 72 and just put 25 to the that result you have to suffix 25 with the result here 7225 is actually 85 square i have not put the decimal yet so you can put the decimal now very easy one digit after the decimal in the number here so we will have two digits after the decimal in the answer so your answer for the question is 72.25 sounds very easy and i think if you know this much you can solve all the questions but it is not like that you should know vertical and crosswise method also i'll show you how see 27.5 square very difficult right but very easy if you know the trick i told you if the number ends with 5 you have to suffix 25 to some number so here also the number ends with 5 so obviously your answer is going to end with 25 i'll put the decimal later i don't i'm not worried about the decimal because i know the criteria how to put the decimal apart from 5 you have 27 here and now 27 multiplied by its consecutive 28 now this is the product you should do very quickly if you want to find the square of 27.5 directly how do you use vertical and crosswise i think by now you must be knowing it if you have seen my videos on mental multiplication on this channel multiply like this 87 is 56 so 6 and 5 carry now cross multiply 14 and 16 16 and 14 is 30 35 5 3 carry and then 2 to the 4 and 3 7 so 7 5 6 forms the other part of the answer and now actually 7 5 6 2 5 is the square of 275 so put the decimal again one digit here so two digit in the answer 1 2 so 756.25 is the square of 27.5 friends you can pick up the calculators and check whether i am getting the correct answers or not they are not crammed up right i'm doing it live for recording this video even you can do that just be aware of how to find the square of numbers ending with 5 and how to find the product of numbers using vertically and crosswise let's see this question just forget the decimal first this is 415 so your answer is going to end with 25 obviously and then apart from 25 you have 41 here Now forty one is to be multiplied by forty two. That is the consecutive of forty one. So two one the two. This is eight plus four, twelve. So two and one carry. So four four the sixteen and one seventeen. So one seven two two. Just put it here. One seven two two, and then put the decimal now. See two digits after decimal in the number. So four digits uh, after decimal in the. square 
from the right side just count four digits one two three four and put the decimal you get the answer 17.225 is the square of 4.15 verification is really important friends so you need to uh, start verifying and see whether i'm getting the correct answer let's see more examples now i'm moving on to four digit numbers here we have 313.5 again ending with 5 so if the number ends with 5 so my number is going to end with 25 now apart from 5 you have 313 here so i'll use vertical and crosswise now 313 multiplied by its consecutive number 314 now 3 by 3 vertically and crosswise method for finding the product. 4 3 is a 12, 2 and a 1 carry. Then 2 pairs, 4 and 3, 7 plus 1, 8. Then 3 pairs, 12 and 9 or plus 1, 10. So 12 and 10, 22 plus, there is no carry now. 22 means 2 and a 2 carry. Now these 2 pairs, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 8. And finally, 3 into 3, 9. So the product of 313 and 314 is 98282, which I will write here, 98282. And now one digit after decimal means two digits after decimal in the answer. So count two digits from the right hand side. You have 1, 2. Here we can put the decimal. And the answer for the question is 98282.25. Now let's change the position of the decimal. Here the decimal is having one digit after and here we have two digits after decimal. But the process remains the same. Number ends with 5. So my answer is going to end, end with 25. Apart from 5 you have 624. So 624 multiplied by its consecutive 625. 5 4 is a 20, 0 2 carry. 10, 18, 20, 0, 2 carry, 30 uh, and 24 is 54 plus 4, 58 and 2, 60, 0, 6 carry and now 12 and 12, 24 plus 6, 30, 0, 3 carry and then 6 is a 36 plus 3, 39. So this is the product, just write the product here, 3, 9, 0, 0. 0, 0. Actually, this number becomes the square of 6245. So, it's a huge number whose square I have found out using the vertical and crosswise method. Now, put the decimal. Here we have two digits after the decimal. So, in the answer, I'll have four digits after the decimal. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Here is the answer. 3900.0025 is the square of 62.45. Likewise, you can go on and on. Let's see this. Again, ending with 5. So, answer ending with 25. Apart from 5, we have 263. So, 263 is to be multiplied by its consecutive number 264. So, 4 3 is a 12, 2 1 carry. This is 24 and 18. 24 and 18 is 42. And 143, 3, 4 carry. Now all three pairs, 8 plus 6, 14, 14 and 36 is 50, plus 4, 54, 4 and a 5 carry. Now two pairs, 12, 12, 24 plus 5, 29, 9, 2 carry and then 2 to the 4 plus 2, 6. So the product is 6, 9, 4, 3, 2. Now where do we put the decimal? That's also very important. Here you have 3 digits after the decimal. So in the answer we will have 6 digits after the decimal. So start counting from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and here is the answer 6.943225 is the exact square of 2.635. So you can see friends how a simple logic, a uh, simple uh, Vedic math trick of squaring numbers ending with 5 and Vedic Maths trick of vertical and crosswise or the criss cross method is helping us in squaring large decimal numbers in a single step. And it is, it is really amazing, you know, how you find the correct answer every time. 
you can please check using the calculator and let me know in the comment section how you like the video and obviously if you like the video do share it with all your friends and this 24 pdf short trick course contains all these tricks you know about 350 short tricks to calculate 10 times faster so you can go for a copy of this 24 pdf short trick course which will be just amazing for all school students right from class 4 onwards because in that addition and subtraction short tricks also are mentioned and obviously for uh, various competitive exams which contains the quantitative aptitude portion it will be just amazing if you can uh, develop that 10 times uh, faster speed of calculations using these short tricks so you can send me a message on whatsapp 9896369963 is the number to be used for sending me a message for getting a copy of that uh, nominal costing pdf course and for some reason if you don't uh, use whatsapp then you can visit the website www.sureshagarwal that's my name in the website dot in for downloading a copy of various different types of pdfs for cbse school students and for preparation of quantitative aptitude exams so friends do share this video with all your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos to come in future thanks for watching this amazing video